In this video lesson, we're going to look at the click, count off, and tempo options available in Pro Tools when recording MIDI. In this session, I already have a click track and a stereo instrument for my piano. To get the click, go to the track menu, create click. For the stereo instrument track, new, stereo, instrument, and there you go. So I'll just cancel that since I have them both made already. All right. You can see I've got two places where I can see my tempo, here, and I can also see it down here. This is the tempo ruler, and if you're not seeing it, simply click on the down arrow right there and check tempo, okay? The tempo ruler is the most common way to have your tempo controlled in Pro Tools, and you can have tempo changes throughout the track if you do it in the tempo ruler, and the tempo changes will then, of course, be automated as the track plays. If you want to change this, simply click on the plus arrow right here and type in the new tempo that you want. If you're not sure of the tempo that you want, you can tap the T key on your QWERTY keyboard, and maybe by the time the sixth or seventh tap is uh, there, Pro Tools will start stabilizing your taps and reading what the tempo is. So here, I'll tap the T key, and let's see what happens. So it looks, I'm, I'm, looks like I'm tapping right around 95, 96, 98 beats per minute. So that would tell me, well, that might be a good place to start. So let me cancel that. All right. Another place you can control tempo is here in the transport window. And that, if you don't see it, is under your window, transport, right there. Now also, there are expanded controls in this transport window, and those can be accessed through this pull-down menu right here. Right now, I have the MIDI controls showing, and I definitely do want those. So let's get the MIDI controls showing again, because we want to take a look, take a look at enabling the count-off, setting the number of count-off bars, also turning the conductor track, or the conductor strip right here on and off and turning our metronome on and off as well all right so if i'm not sure of the tempo i can turn off the conductor track click right here where it says 120 and just roll back and forth and experiment listening to the click until i find a tempo that i can play at or that works for my song the other nice thing about disabling the conductor track, let's say that you're not a very good keyboard player and you need to play in a part that is somewhat difficult for you to play. You can slow the tempo down to a tempo at which you can play. Maybe something like that. And then when you're finished with that, re-enable the conductor track to the tempo of your session or of your song. All right. Now that we have our click and tempo options set up, let's get ready to record. First, record enable the track. Next, the three ways to record in Pro Tools are one, click the record enable button, click the play button. And then click stop or spacebar to stop, command Z to undo that. The other way to record is command and then spacebar, spacebar to stop, command Z to undo that. Or if you have a QWERTY keyboard with your computer and it has the 12 key keypad on the right hand side, press the three key and that will enable record as well. So those are your three ways to get Pro Tools into record. Let's undo that. All right, count off, two bars. Do we need a count off? There are a number of different ways to approach this. One thing you can do is just let one bar or two bars go by for free and then start recording what you want. Something like this. All right, so what I did is I just let one bar go by for free and then I started recording. That's one option. The other is to go with a count off and then start playing as soon as those two bars go by. Let's try that one. All right, so that's another option there. Another option is to create negative measures in Pro Tools, and that will be your pre-roll before you start recording. So let me go to my event menu here. Renumber bars. And now bar one becomes bar negative one. And now let me 
zoom in here. So here is bar negative 1, here is bar 0, and recording will start at measure 1. A song typically starts at measure 1. So here I'll have two bars for free, which will essentially be my count off, and then I'll have the music start at measure 1. So that's another option besides having a count off or starting at measure one and then having maybe one or two blank measures before you start playing, okay? Before we leave, I just want to make my pitch for recording to a click when working with MIDI. Later on, after you've finished recording, you'll want to take advantage of the quantization features in Pro Tools, which means rhythmically error correcting your performance. If Pro Tools can't make its best guess on how close you played to one of these blue grid lines here, it can't air correct your performance correctly. The only way you're going to get your performance to come close to those grid lines when you're playing is playing to a click. So anyway, my pitch for playing to a click or some kind of drum loop. So I think you're ready to dive in and start recording. Have fun. <laughs>